Okay. In this question, it is uh, given to us that the slits of the double slit uh, were moved symmetrically apart. That is, these slits are they moved uh, symmetrically apart? Then we have to calculate the number of fringes passing per unit time at uh, at this point, which is at a distance y from the center of the fringe system, formed on a screen at a distance capital D from the slits. So this point P is uh, at a distance y from uh, O, which is the center of the fringe system. We have to calculate the number of fringes passing per unit time at this point P. Now, uh, let's say this distance between O and P is y, which can be also written as n times beta, where n is any integer, and uh, beta, beta is the fringe width. Now, let's start with the solution. Now since y can be written as n times beta, n times beta, and if we differentiate this equation, if, if we differentiate this equation with respect to t, then we get dy by dt, that will be equal to n times d by dt of beta plus beta times d by dt of n. Now we want to find out the number of fringes passing per unit time here at, at this point p and this is equal to n times beta so we can say dn by dt is the rate of change of n so dn by dt are the number of fringes passing per unit time at point p so can it can be written as dn by dt is equal to now since y is this distance between p and o the y y distance will be constant so dy by dt will be equal to 0 so we can write dn by dt is equal to minus n by beta times d by dt of beta now since beta is the fringe width this is the distance between the screen and the slits this is the distance between the slits and we have to calculate uh, for uh, lambda for uh, light wavelength of light light of wavelength lambda we can say beta is nothing but d lambda by small d so we'll use it here that dn by dt is equal to minus n by beta times d by dt of d lambda by small d now since d and lambda are constants we can take them out so we can see this is equal to n by beta into d lambda upon d by dt of 1 by d now this uh, differentiation 1 by d that will be equal to minus 1 by d square into d of d by dt so dn by dt will be equal to minus n by beta into d lambda into minus 1 by d square into d by dt of small d. Now small d is the separation between the slits. The rate of change of small d will depend upon the rate of uh, rate at which S1 and S2 are moving. They are moving symmetrically apart and they are moving with a relative velocity v. So d by dt of v of d sorry d by dt of d by dt of d will be equal to v. So that can be written as this minus gets cancelled. So n by beta into d lambda by d square into v right so dn by dt comes out to be now we can use some manipulations here we know that beta is equal to d lambda by small d so multiplying dividing this by beta i get n beta by beta square and multiplying dividing by d lambda so we get this d lambda square by d square into v by d lambda now this is d lambda by d this is beta square so this gets cancelled this gets cancelled and we know n beta n beta is equal to y so we'll get y by d lambda into v so that is the answer of a solution that is d n by d t is equal to y by d lambda times v these are the number of fringes passing per unit time at any point P which is at a distance Y from the center of the fringe system.